inexpensive way to make some pretty papers for your art. So I think color wise they are really interesting because we have all kinds of colors and darker and uh, lighter. I really love how it turned out and they are look aged and they are looking really really nice. Look, this is the watercolor paper which turned out to be really nice and yellow. Same for the uh, beautiful music notes. Very old looking isn't it? Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Marta here and I'm boiling water. We're gonna cook our paper. Well, not really cook but this time we will be using hot water and tea. So I'm about to Put some tea inside. Mm, I have three tea bags. I don't know how many we will need, but I think we need pretty. Oh, it's okay. Pretty strong. I added two more actually tea bags from different brands, and it's really really dark now because because we we really wish for this dye to be pretty dark to make some <laughs> effect. Uh, we also will need baking tray. My tray is pretty big and it's a rectangular shape which is perfect. So I'm going to take my tray and I'm going to take tea and let's go to the studio. Okay, we are in the studio. Now before I start I'm going to apologize for my the voice because my nose is blocked. The whole house except Emily is sick since four days now I think. Uh, but we are kind of uh, making, um, there is a light in the tunnel let's say. <laughs> and I hope that it soon be uh, gone. The sickness because I feel better just my nose my voice is funny but yeah you can nearly see me and my sweatshirt pink sweatshirt <laughs> uh, the idea is to dye our paper basically and I have here all kinds of papers I have I'll show you I have watercolor paper we're gonna age it we are gonna try to uh, oh look it's already changing the color can you see? Uh, we are gonna change the color, we are gonna age it, we are gonna make it vintagey uh, for our art journalings that we will create together. Uh, many, many, many of you have mentioned to me that you really wish. Oh, I think I need some kind of help. <clears throat> oh, actually, I can use the spoon. Uh, many many of you loves um, no cost videos, no cost ideas. So I thought about dyeing papers with tea and coffee ages ago. Do you remember when we did eco dyeing from uh, from leaves and stuff? Uh, and that was a few months back. Oh. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I since that time I really wanted to do this one, but it was just never happening, and um, yeah, it was just not enough time. But now I said, why not? Now I have all kinds of paper to test. This one is very delicate paper. Don't burn yourself when you're using tea like that. This is very delicate, delicate paper. I'll show you. It's like this kind of I don't know this set of like a copy copy paper, copier paper. Maybe I'll take three or two together, three, four together, to put it back again, to put it like that, so it's, because it's crumbling and upping straight away. Maybe I need a bit more tea. Now, there are ways of doing that. Some people are doing in the tray like this. Some people, because uh, I watched others how they did it, and uh, just to see and some people are doing like a spritz, spritz spraying and that's awesome too all of the options I think works perfectly but I just I just like the idea of playing like this around and like a little as if it's a bath full of tea and stuff so yeah that was my uh, idea that I really wanted to try like that this is a beautiful watercolor paper from a, a actual uh, journal you know, I just thought I want to age that. And now I'm thinking, do you know what would be cool? Let me just grab my <clears throat> let me just grab my um my 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 my, my dem. Imagine that that you we could actually take a regular um copy paper, because that's the regular copy paper, and we could just oh Hannah will wake up with that. We could just use this. I think all my tea is soaking, so soaked somewhere. Why is this wobbling? I wonder. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna add some more. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, Hannah is asleep, so hopefully I managed to 
die a bit. The smell is gorgeous, I have to say. The smell is gorgeous. I love, love, love it. Now, I don't know how better or worse it is if you actually uh, dye everything, like all of them together, than each separate piece. I have no clue. Uh, I'm going to use those leftovers from teas. Uh, I don't know, I just, you know, that's, that's, that's just a trial, I guess. <clears throat> I also was thinking to maybe use a little bit of that cheesecloth as in between and dye some cheesecloth too. How, how fun this could be. So let's see if I can actually dye the cheesecloth as well. I think it would be cool. Awesome, awesome idea to use this. Usually cheesecloth has few layers, so so yes, if my nose, blocked nose is bothering you, sorry for that. But I had the decision to make either no video or video when I am sniffing. So I hope you, you're you okay with that. I hope you're okay with that. I really would love to make some uh, videos with some junk journaling, vintage journaling. Uh, many, many of you is asking about that. And all of my, when we did coloring with tea as well, do you remember? We've done some tea journaling, coffee journaling. Many of you loved it so much that I think it would be lovely to um, to look at the subject again in a different way. So I will be just <clears throat> adding my tea here and there, coloring that. Uh, I also have different watercolor paper that I have. I just grabbed all kinds of papers, you know. I just really wanted to try all of the kinds, you know, different brands and all and see how is that <clears throat> look what I have the hobby brought vitamin C <laughs> thank you um, yes we're trying to get better obviously <laughs> sometimes you do everything and we are we like very healthy eaters we love eating healthy we had walk we have been walking every day the last because we had a gorgeous weather in Ireland so we were walking every day believe it or not uh, every day 10,000 uh, 10,000 um, what's the word 10,000 uh, steps and it if, if I'm sidetracked I'm sorry it could be my sickness uh, 10,000 walks if uh, foot feet uh, steps it's like eight kilometers that's a lot I think so that's what we have been doing the last week and or more every day so being sick when and all of us like Lucas myself Hannah so either we walked too much <laughs> we wonder if we walked too much or is it just some kind of pure accident uh, but we were also um, in the in the doctors uh, for um, getting injection for Hannah uh, I'm not sure if you're against injections uh, at all, or we we kind of not against injections, so our children are in, uh, getting injections and all. I think it's good to prevent the old sickness that they don't come back anymore, like swine flu and stuff, but it's everyone's personal choice, of course. Um, so we were wondering, sometimes when you're in doctors, you know, it may happen that... Um, what if you get some kind of uh, germs there because it's doctors so you know you never know and Lucas just told me that I <laughs> I like to it's four kilometers actually we were doing walking because um, I didn't know um, anyway 10,000 walks 10,000 feet is is four kilometers which I think it's pretty good it's pretty good <coughs> for daily walks and um, yeah <clears throat> my Lucas is secretly <laughs> listening. I always think he doesn't, but he does listen. See, he does listen. Now, I'm mixing, as you can tell, a little bit of that. Oops, a little bit of that. I just spilled tea on my beautiful sweatshirt. A bit of that, bit of this, bit of that. So, you know, uh, I think it's going to be gorgeous. So, totally gorgeous. So, when it's finished. So, so I have, like, uh, in between, I have all kinds of papers. Now, how about uh, our... Uh, music notes paper. Now, if you're asking where to get music notes paper, I got it in second-hand store, basically. And honestly, those are not cheap books. They're not, because I think people... I could be mistaken, 
but people don't maybe produce them anymore as such or they're not as popular there's not so many music in schools it's just life is changing you know we have computers and we have things so paper books especially those i don't see them anymore like i don't think emily had any thing like that in school or or maybe i'm not aware but it's not easy to buy them anymore and they're not cheap if you buy them they're like a book of eight euro or 20 euro you know all kinds of <clears throat> finances uh, so um, yes so we have all kinds of watercolor card stock regular card stock I have also a uh, music notes I have like a print just print a uh, paper for printers <clears throat> uh, so yes I was just saying that when we were doing vaccination for Hannah um, she needed that vaccination uh, that's her last vaccinations now there was like four meetings I think four vaccines so now she's done and dusted for another f until she's five and she's in school so that's good you know um, one step one important part done oh look <laughs> it didn't see if you put them all together they may not bleed through that's interesting to know I think I wonder another thing what about if we just basically do like this how about if we play a little bit with it <clears throat> I'm sure some kind of different um, feeling could be towards that let's see if I can <clears throat> or what if I will just rip it like that Oh, that's interesting. That's the thick paper, obviously, as you can imagine. Uh, but I think it's nice to try out and experiment right now, guys. I encourage you to experiment your own way of doing things. And um, yeah, I have seen some videos, not fully, um, because I keep on telling you that I don't watch. <laughs> other video YouTube, YouTubers because I don't want to get too much inspired and copy them. Simply as that. I just rather have my own experiments and mistakes. Uh, oh, that's lovely. Uh, mistakes rather than, <laughs> you know, rather than do some something exactly like, like others do because then I'm not gonna learn myself and discover things. So uh, but they were like spritzing the coffee or tea. Yeah, others were doing with coffee. I think I'll try coffee as well. But for now, I'm happy with the tea, at least for now. I love the cheesecloth being colored as well. Um, <clears throat> let's see what's going to happen now. Use your hands like I do now. It's fine. It's fine, I think. Mm-hmm. Now um to make this faster I think I'm gonna put put it in the oven basically. Uh because I cannot wait to see it <laughs> finished. Um now what else I can do? I think I love this this uh very thick watercolor paper, so I'm gonna try to uh dye that and maybe rip it in half, I'll see. Oh, there we go. That's nice. That's nice. Obviously, lots of water is sinking through now. Now, if you be wondering, yes, I will be definitely trying to... I'm going to keep this here at the edge. So maybe the edge will be darker or something. I don't know. I will be doing some um, junk journal with that for definite, guys. So you can mark my, mark my word that I'm going to do that. Let's see if I'll just crumble that and <clears throat> yes you could hear Lucas as well he's home you know when ma man has a flu it's like he's dying <laughs> you know that dr drill don't you <laughs> my one is no different <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yes <laughs> I think he needs my help now maybe I have to drag some tea to him <laughs> You know, guys, the, the, the guys are just like that. They just need a special care when they have a flu. It's like they literally are at, at the end of the tunnel. Like they're feeling something is really bad happening with them. And they need special care of us women, isn't it? 
when a woman is sick she's doing laundry she's doing cooking she's minding the kids and everything and the guy is like on the couch under the blanket watching tv and oh i'm dying oh and it's only a flu <laughs> and he has million medicines taken <laughs> Okay, I, I, I'm just experimenting guys here because I think it's nice to try different things so that's what I'm thinking to see what will happen. Do I have any more tea? I do indeed. I wonder what will happen if I'll just grab those teas and and what and just leave them somehow? <coughs> Maybe. It's nice and warm. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if I can actually turn this around. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> oh yeah, what about exactly the thread? Where's my thread? Do I see, I have only black thread, no. Do I have white? Oh, I have my green, uh, um, gray thread. Yay, I'm gonna grab some thread and thread it here. Now, I'm gonna need some more tea actually. So I'm going to boil some more water, I think, because I need a little bit more. You see my, my tray, What it, it has like those things on the side, so a lot of tea is going there to the side. So I think I need to fix that. Oh, nice one. Nice. <clears throat> hmm. How cool is this? Okay, let me grab some more tea, actually. Okay, I have another jog with tea. This one is very hot. I probably should wait until it's darker and better. <laughs> um, now, another thing that I wanted to try is card bases. I buy those card bases. You will say, oh, Marta, don't, don't waste your card bases. I don't mind because I buy them in good price and I, I could imagine a great journal being done with those. <clears throat> I think I need those tea bags to be very much on the side otherwise it's not gonna be too flat, too flat here so it could be difficult to okay that works and also I was thinking to use the envelopes imagine that dying envelopes could that be awesome papers and envelopes why not <clears throat> another uh, um, copy book, a uh, print, print, I need definitely more tea, another print, print paper, now, okay, now be careful, don't burn yourself, please, 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 okay, this is very actually satisfying, <laughs> Emily would love that. Okay, I think I'm gonna now concentrate less on f making sure that everything is fully covered, quite opposite. I, I just leave some to not be that maybe covered and I need a little bit more of that cheesecloth. I wonder if that will create some kind of texture. Maybe lace would be nice as well, I wonder. Let's see, <clears throat> let's see, let's see, I think there's one more layer, or not, I'm pretty sure there is, no, when I went to <laughs> make another joke with tea, <laughs> Lucas was saying, thanks, I can't even blow my nose now, <laughs> because you're recording, he's so funny, and he was saying that, of course, in a joke way, uh, when he heard me talking about men, and he said, I cook, and I clean. <laughs> he does. I was joking. Um, he is sick. <laughs> but maybe not typically. As a typical man would be. So I take that back. He's he's okay. He's okay. He's not perfect. Don't, don't think like this. <laughs> he's not. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm pretty much nearly done here. I guess. How about if I just twist this like that? Nice! I don't want to do too many of uh, print 
print paper and I tell you why I just wouldn't use it that much because I prefer to craft on thicker paper so I'm happier to kind of you know stick with the thicker watercolor paper oh that's nice stain <clears throat> so I'm gonna use all of my thicker papers actually which I have here as well more yeah and I think I'm happy and I can call this finished the experiment and we can start um, <clears throat> I think there are two more oh no those are the we can start drying the process I guess <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna pull, pour, pour out a whole tea I know a waste but sure that's what it is uh, I think I'm gonna start pouring this to the sink and then <laughs> that's so relaxing and therapeutic all together <laughs> okay I'm gonna leave that for I don't know for an hour or so and then I'm gonna uh, get drain drain it out and dry it so I'll come back to you I guess in some time actually I kind of <laughs> couldn't let it go and just uh, leave it so I am making more experiments uh, with just copy paper the not copy the the print paper and I'm just kind of I don't know if this will you know do any good or bad but I'm just kind of making this <clears throat> you know like shapes kind of thing <clears throat> so I'm making this wet a bit and kind of you know like making <laughs> uh, folds and stuff and maybe something nice will come out from it we will see maybe some nice designs from folding <clears throat> so I encourage you to try fold and well I, I'll see if this will be any good but I encourage you to try you know you could try different color tea like uh, blueberry tea or whichever like red teas uh, just this could be nice I think <clears throat> that's interesting now <laughs> Be gentle because uh, once the paper is wet, it's very fragile, so you don't want to rip it apart, rip it off. So be careful with that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can kind of create designs, I, th I believe. I'm guessing that we will manage to have some sort of designs here, I hope, anyway. And it's easier to, I think, do it when it's wet, rather than when it's, you know, some kind of leftover. When it's not wet. So, when it's nice and damp, you can do things. I think it's nice to try it, and you can probably finish off and have some kind of amazing... Um, the same when I was doing eco dyeing paper amazing designs girls received like wow really nice <clears throat> okay you can like do it like that I guess like this <clears throat> no? I think so. <laughs> the more I, I'm i dipping my hands here, the funnier and nicer it is. The more courageous I become as well, so... <clears throat> okay. Those folds, they must come up somehow nice, I think. <clears throat> okay, I'm definitely done. See you in a bit. Paper update. Everything is soaking in since two or three hours, so I'm going to get the water out and come back to you in just a minute. So I'm going to rinse the rest of the 
tea. <laughs> oh, we have some carrot <laughs> as well. Uh, because I'm afraid that it's too much, it's it's in the water for too long. Uh, so I hope to I hope to now dry it and I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'll see what's gonna happen. Wow, it looks promising very much. So we will see. I'm gonna put it everything, take more water out, more tea out, and I'm gonna put it in the oven for very low heat and I'll see. Uh, then I will be probably moving it around to see. Uh, because it's a lot of layers so I'll be back to you in just a minute so oven is working uh, I put it in 170 I don't know if it's enough or too little I'll be checking so uh, yeah exciting exciting uh, drying process is still happening I have to take pieces page by page because there are so many pages that it doesn't want to dry so I have some papers here uh, elements that are already dry papers that are nearly ready to be dry and look uh, the deeper I dig in my metal tin the darker it gets oh that's so nice it dark the darker it gets so I I will show you of course everything I look at those everything when it's super dry on my desk uh, but yes drying time is a little bit consuming but I hope it will be uh, really really nice at the end Back to you. I have the whole pile from the kitchen here on my desk. Uh, I have to kind of make it flat somehow, but before I'm going to do it, I'm going to just quickly show you how different the papers look depending on how it was spoiled uh, and what type of paper that was. Look how interesting this looks. I really have to say, funny enough, the smell the smell is pretty strange <laughs> uh, it smells like it's not burned it smells like as if it's not washed <laughs> like uh, not washed laundry is that possible anyway I love the coloring look how different same paper looks different uh, I feel I lost my voice as well over today's chats in general so I'm gonna try to make those straight and get back to you in uh, just a few moments when everything is straight and we have to do something with it and not in this video I guess but in the next one look at all of them each of them are so different and also let me show you because I was folding the paper and I think oh there we go look at those how different coloring is because of the folds interesting isn't it you get extra texture from even folds sorry the envelopes you can even open your envelopes if you wish and use it i wonder if i will be uh, if i will be oh i have another one to show you and another one um i want to show you before i put it and straighten it look at that that's so cool isn't it strips of color and we have this one uh, I wonder if I should use iron but I don't think so oh look at that nice so I think we'll be doing some art journaling uh, art journal book from it and I think this will make it awesome so I'm gonna straighten them over a night or two and get back to you and show you the final result of all the pages together yeah <laughs> Hello, hello, I'm back to you the next day. I had some things, heavy things on top of my on top of my papers. Let's see if they straight strengthen them. It, if, if they straight. Look, they're not too bad. They are actually straight enough, I think. Wow. So let's see quickly how the papers are looking. I think color wise they are really interesting because we have all kinds of colors and darker and uh, lighter I really love how it turned out and they are look aged and they are looking really really nice oh yes I was actually dividing them with the sizes as well so I have the bigger one look this is the watercolor paper which turned out to be really nice and yellow same for the uh, beautiful music notes very old looking isn't it this is the copier the, the printer one so you can see different colors this one is brown as well different this is the the one with the little design in it so 
each of them is different and I have to say really really nice combination so I think the beautiful junk journal will be fantastic from it so watch this space for a different video about how to use those pages for a junk journal so we will do some junk journal I hope uh, thank you so much I hope it was fun and inspirational and definitely try it for yourself inexpensive way to make some pretty papers for your art so thank you so much and yeah happy paper making <laughs>